Hi everyone, I'm Lai. This course will be talk about the available size of carcass and dog. It's very important for us to know some base status in the carcass and dog before we design a kitchen. This course can be divided into two parts. The first one is the available size of carcass and the other is the available size of dog. Okay, let's begin this course. One carcass, and this is base carcass. The standard depth of base carcass is 550 or 600 millimeter, and the maximum non-standard depth is 750 millimeter, including 750 millimeter. The standard height x 720mm or 762mm and we shall then decide the base carcass which is high x over 762mm the wigs can range from 150mm to 1200mm Wall carcass, the standard depth is 305 mm and the maximum non standard depth is 650 mm, including 650 mm, and the standard height is 500 mm or 720 mm or 762 mm and 900 14 mm and 1067 mm. The maximum non standard height is 1250 mm. And the wigs can range from 200 mm to 1200 mm. And we can get the size from the size information from this picture. The middle height carcass. The standard depth is the same as the base carcass. It's 550 or 600 millimeter. And the maximum non-standard depth is 750 millimeter. And the standard high is 1321 mm. And the maximum non standard high is 2390 mm. And the wigs can range from 300 mm to 1200 mm. And we can get the information from this picture. For, for high carcass, the standard depth is 550 or 600 mm, and the maximum non standard depth is 750 mm, and the standard height is 2019 mm or 2134 mm. The maximum non standard high is 2390 mm. And the wigs can range from 300 mm to 1200 mm. We can get the information from this picture. Five, for refrigerator top wall carcass, the standard depth is. 550 or 600 mm and the maximum non standard depth is 750 mm and the standard height is 381 or 457 and 533 mm and we shall then decide the refrigerator tall carcass which is high is over 
0.533 mm. And the wigs can range from 600 mm to 1200 mm. The two pictures are the refrigerator, refrigerator top wall carcass. And here it's the refrigerator top wall carcass. Six for on worktop rolling door wall carcass. The wigs and height cannot be changed. And the standard depth is 350 mm. And the maximum non-standard depth is 600 mm. On worktop XD sliding door carcass. The wicks cannot be changed. And the standard depth is 325 mm. And the maximum non-standard depth is 600 mm. The standard height is 1334 mm. And the maximum non standard height is 1800 mm. On worktop carcass, besides the rolling door carcass and exit sliding door carcass, means that not include rolling door carcass and exit sliding door carcass. So the standard depth is 305, 550, and 600 mm. And the maximum non standard depth is 750 mm. And the wigs can range from 450 mm to 1200 mm. And the standard height is 1334 mm. The maximum non standard height is 1800 mm. Here I have a question. Where will we must use the depth x 330 mil a non standard depth wall carcass? And if we use the non standard size, we need to multiply a coefficient. For example, here is the coefficient 1.08 it's from 330 divide 305 one when we decide the bottom lamp panel such as this one because the bottom lamp panel requires the depth of the carcass must be 330 millimeter Two, when we decide the built-in range wood, such as this picture shows, because the range wood size requires the carcass must be 330 depths. Three, when we decide the arch door, which the radius is 300 mm, such as this one. Because only the depth is over 330 millimeter or x 330 millimeter, then we can use the arch door. If the depth, if the depth is not 330, the door will hit the wall. Part 2 The available size of door So for standard single door Here we have the rotary door Lift up door And drawer front door For rotary door The width must be less than 
620 mm and the height must be less than 1400 mm and for lift up door the width must be less than 1220 mm and the height must be less than 500 mm for drawer front door the width must be less than 1220 mm and height must be less than 400 mm because if the size is over the standard size the door will be out of shape or distorted exceeded two for standard single fade door the wicks must be less than 620 mm and the height must be less than 2390 mm below are three pictures this one shows us that here is a fade door for the high cabinet and this is the fade door for base cabinet and this one is a fade door for wall cabinet if we if the whole door is over the standard size we can use the dot linker to achieve that this is the dot linker and this is the code and here has a picture it shows us how to use the dot linker here and here or we can use this this one is light the wood tower it is used in the edge of the door so here okay after this course we know the available size of carcass and door so for carcass when we do our design we remember to choose the standard size firstly because if we choose the available non standard size we need to multiply a coefficient well i hope this course will be helpful for your work and if you have any questions or suggestions for our work welcome to contact us by email thank you bye okay.